Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Paper Mario Pro Mode. In the last episode, as always, we did some more Koopa Koop favors. I know that's not very exciting, but we got a ton of star pieces out of the deal. But better yet, we also opened up the entrance to Flower Field. And you know what we're gonna do in this episode? Well, I bet you know what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be entering Flower Field to begin Chapter 6. I know I say this every chapter, but I'm really scared of this one because of this thing right here. Chapter 6, Dark Days and Flower Fields. This boss is going to give me some trouble. I can already tell. Let's jump right into it with no fear and just go right on to it. What ho? Now, who might that be? Ho, 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 ho. Up here, son. They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in Flower Fields. The land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the Star Spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means that Star Spirit is here on our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course. It must be the Star Spirit that you're searching for. Oh, whoa? You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of the flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky, what we call the cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulbs around here might have some useful information as well. I say talk to everyone. Well, we really don't need to do all that because I know where I'm going. This chapter is going to be full of backtracking and doing a lot of fetch quests. So if you're not a big fan of that, well, then I don't know what to tell you. But I guess we're off to fight some new enemies here. And some recent enemies... These are the crazy daisies. Um, I don't know how bad they're going to be in this game, but hope... Wow, that's a one-shot kill. That's ridic. Um, And I don't have my quick change on. I'm going to have to readjust my badges after this. But I figured I might as well just go ahead and get rid of these guys, because who knows what they could do to me. They could be dangerous. Who really knows? But I guess I can't really complain that much. And you're running away because you're the only enemy on the field. That's fine. Four star points. We're almost close to a level up as well, which is pretty sweet if you ask me. But let me go ahead and readjust my badges since we're here. Because I don't need D-Down Jump anymore. <laughs> Man, can't see Koopa, let me tell ya. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and take this off. And everything else stays. Because I'm kind of a, a power freak at this point. Uh, what do I want in this chapter? Maybe Medicine Man? I don't even know what could really hurt me that badly but oh that bee the bees I forgot about these bees we've, it's been a while since we've seen them they hurt uh, let's see uh, well it doesn't really matter because these guys pretty much go down in no time at all like I don't even have to do the full amount on them they just go down look at that easy every time one jump normally could get rid of these guys, but I'm not going to really do that. We're just going to... Oh, no. These guys hurt, actually. I don't even want to risk not letting these guys live. I mean, look at that. These guys, I believe, do 12 damage. Okay. So... Let's see if I can still remember to dodge this. No, that hurts a lot. I figured. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and jump on you and finish you off. I'm pretty sure they might have another attack that could be dangerous, depending on the situation. But that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. And I don't want to fight the other one, because that's dumb. Is there anything to these trees? Was there anything to these trees? Maybe a certain pattern that you have to hit them in the right order or something? I don't remember any of that, but maybe I'll try again later. Ooh, a star piece. I want. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. Thank you, sir. And now we can talk to you. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've been began to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these money moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a money mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, 
You look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty Moles for me? Sure thing. In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... Oh, yes, I know what these guys are. <laughs> and this jerk. <laughs> and this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. <laughs> Please don't fail me. My Caesar and I are counting on you to save us. Alrighty, well, we are on a mission to fight these Monty Moles. And this one is just one of them, so that's not that bad. Let's go ahead and attack them. Luckily for us, they don't have any point of defense. So this guy is going to, uh, shall we say, go down pretty easily, if I say so myself. I mean, look at that. Three damage with Coops. Or Cooper. Not Coops. Wrong game. But easy every time. We're going to be using Cooper because there are quite a few enemies we're going to be fighting. Come on. There we go. I wanted to get the first strike on them, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Actually, you know what? Um, I don't have... Uh, what, do you, what is that badge called that I always put on? The Quake Hammer. That's it. But Fire Shell costs four, and it does a ton of damage. Look at that. Six damage. Easy every time. Now, let's see what they can do. Ooh, okay. That's weird. He just throws a big rock. Like, you see the little rock in the animation? It's kind of weird, but... It's fine, it's fine. Now, speaking of uh, things, look how much damage Coop... I almost called him Coop skin. Cooper does. He does five now, so their attack power goes up by two and they get uh, their boost of level. Wow, well, I'm almost dead. That's insane. But this should take him out, and I might actually go and switch my badges next, because um, I can't take that many of those hits. And I believe I do six with Quake Hammer now, or Multi Bounce even. But I think Quake Hammer would be the better choice. Or no, not Quake Hammer. It's the other one. What's the other one called? I don't even remember. Uh, how much does that cost to put on? Two? Yeah, Power Quake costs two. So it'll do six damage, which is fine by me. So let's go ahead and test my theory and see if I'm correct. Yeah, there's four of them here. So let's go ahead and use Power Quake on them and then use Cooper's Fire Shell to destroy them all. Ooh, it's a seven. Ooh. That's some power! Look at that damage! And then we'll just do this. And they're all dead. Look at that. Look at that! No problem! Just a few more of those fights, and we're gonna level up in no time. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do that again. Wow, that looked really weird. You saw that? Good lord, man. Alright, well, same situation. I'm just gonna do this and then go ahead and proceed with the fire shell because that's going to decimate every single enemy here, and that is going to give us our well-deserved level up. And I deserve it because I'm almost dead, so I need to heal. And there you go. Now, what am I going to increase this time? I honestly have no idea. Hmm. I could do more BP, but I think I've been going that for that quite a bit recently. We're doing it anyway. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? I can go ahead and put on some more badges now that we have that equipped or in our level up. So let's go ahead and do that. And what do I want to put on now? I don't need this anymore. I could put uh, Quake, Quake Hammer. No, Quick Change back. And then I actually want to put on an FP Plus for now because you never know. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Yahara! Yahoo! Wee! You got rid of the Monty Moles! Oh, thank you, thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here, you are. And there we go, we got a magical bean. A bean, it's twitching as if it say, plant me this instant. Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the seed maniac. Hee <laughs> hee, nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, it's fertile soil, miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! Well, I guess we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> but if you hit this tree, you're going to get yourself some red berries that heal 5 HP, but more importantly, they're going to be used for something a little bit later. Now, there was something over here that I did not remember up until now. So, <laughs> if you come over here, I'd even not even know about this. What time is it if there were red seed in it? <laughs> Who's throwing stuff down into my well? Whoever it is, you deserve this for your root. Uh oh. Oh. We're just fighting another one of these guys. Oh, that's not. That's it? That's all you're gonna give me? Come on, dude. 
I think if you throw something that the guy likes, he'll give you a badge, and I'm not exactly sure what that is that he wants. So, there, that's unfortunate. But, Gumbario, you're gonna be useful for the first time and only the first time ever. There you go. And, again, we're not getting any star points anymore from these enemies, even though we just fought them. Dang, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and take back out Bo, because I feel like Bo is going to be a pretty useful party member as we navigate through the flower fields. Now, let's see if I am can figure out this pattern, and if I don't figure it out here, I will be sure to come back. And, of course... I forgot about that attack. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen it before in my life. Have I ever seen that attack before? Well, there you go. It almost killed me. Well, not almost killed me, but, I mean... It, it could have been bad, you know? It could have been bad. Did I already hit that tree? I'm not even sure. Oh, I did... Okay, I did hit the right order. Happy Flower Badge restores FP automatically during battle. Nice. So, I completely guessed on the... The thing. But we got the red berry. So we obviously gotta do something with the red berry, right? There's that guy right there. I don't wanna talk to him. That's the blue guy. Which one of these guys needs the red berry? This guy right here. Okay, and there's a star piece in here. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You wanna pass through here? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I can make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. I would love to give you a red berry. Eat the red berry forever. Oh, delicious! This is it! Great color, full flavor, it's perfect! You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Well, I'm glad that you're letting me through, but I'm afraid... Yeah, I figured as much. Also, there's a star piece. Oh, wow! That's kind of overkill. Also, there is a new enemy in here. It's a puff. It's a huff puff. It's a rough puff, not a huff puff. I'm stupid. Well, in any case, we're not going to see what he does right now because I'm going to jump on him for maximum damage. And he's gonna go down. But I just wanted to show you guys that he does exist. Uh, I don't have anything that can one-shot him, except Bo's fan smack, which I... Nah. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. I mean, honestly, I'm trying to preserve HP. If I want to heal, I can just go back to Toad Town off-screen and heal. That's not a huge problem. But there you go. Got three measly star points out of the deal. I guess that's not terrible. But there's a star piece in here. And I want to find it also. There's the Puff Man. Here's some yellow berries. Heals 3 HP and 3 FP. Pretty nice. Is it right here, actually? Yes, it is. Well, I'm glad I checked. Man, that's such a useful badge. Also, oh, we didn't get the thing I wanted to see us get. But over here, there's this lady. Look at this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose. Oh, how rude. Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made me my nose grow so long. I happen to like it, hee-hee. <laughs> Your nose is pretty nice, too. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? Gee, thanks! Absolutely pollutant... Pol pollutant... Pollutant-free! This smells like very good soil. Your nose will be perfect soon. Hee-hee-hee! <laughs> wow, we're just getting everything pretty darn easily, as a matter of fact, so I do appreciate. We're already two of the ingredients down out of three to make our perfect, you know, our perfect thing. And of course, we'll fight another rough puff so we can actually see what he does. Oh! Oh, silly me, I forgot they they did that. And by that, I mean they not supposed to. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, in any case, I'm going to switch party members here because I think Watt can actually hit them. Even though... Actually, would this work on them, I wonder? Let's find out! Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Right? Please? No. Dude, no! Great. Great. And I didn't save it all. <laughs> No! I'll see you guys back where I was. No! Alrighty. I think I'm finally back. Um, oh, okay. 
Well, I guess I can explain what happened. I got two game overs. That happened. It was pretty, pretty sad, actually. It was a very sad time, but we survived. I'm back. It's okay. I'm alive and well and kicking, but I'm just upset that I got the game over, <laughs> to be honest. I died twice, actually, <laughs> and it was rough. Those Huff and Puffs are disgustingly strong, and I didn't know what to do. Uh, and I also hadn't saved, so I had to pretty much restart the whole chapter. Also, I changed my badge up so I would get more HP from the Heart Finder, because I feel like that's necessary in a chapter like this. So, uh, we did get the Yellow Berries, I believe, but I'm going to go ahead and, and quickly heal, because I'm almost dead now. Alrighty, well, I am back once again from my nice long nap. And kind of think of it, I don't know why I did that, because I'm actually planning on ending the episode, because I'm not sure how long the video is actually going to be. But I know I spent a lot and lots of time trying to get back to where I was, so that's fun. But, uh, it's, it's been a rough one so far. Next time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we're going to continue on through flower, fi flower, flower Fields and see what we can do with the yellow berry that we just got. And it's going to be great. I'm very excited to continue this place now. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more Paper Mario Pro Mode. I will see you guys then.